Kids and welcome back to the Curious Kid Cast. I'm your host Andy, and today we're diving into a question that's so cool it might just freeze your brain. Well, not literally, because that would be terrible, and I'd have to explain to your parents why you're walking around like a frozen zombie. Today's fantastic question comes from nine-year-old Maisie from Birmingham, England, who asked this after watching her pet dog Winston shivering after a walk out in the cold and wondering why penguins don't seem to mind the cold at all. So why don't penguins' feet freeze? Picture this. You're standing barefoot on your kitchen tiles after your mums just mopped them with cold water. Your toes immediately curl up like tiny frozen sausages, and you're hopping around doing the cold foot dance that looks suspiciously like you need the toilet. Now imagine being a penguin standing on actual ice in Antarctica. It's so cold that your breath would turn into ice cubes before it even leaves your mouth. That's minus 76 Fahrenheit, or minus 60 degrees Celsius, which is colder than your freezer, colder than a polar bear's nose, and definitely colder than your teacher's stare when you forget your homework. But here's the thing. Penguins don't hop around doing the cold foot dance. They just waddle about like nothing's wrong, looking like tiny gentlemen in tuxedos who've forgotten where they parked their car. So what's their secret? Are they wearing invisible penguin slippers? Do they have tiny hot water bottles strapped to their feet? Or maybe they've invented penguin central heating. Well, the truth is even cooler than that. Literally. The first penguin superpower is something called countercurrent heat exchange. Now, I know that sounds like something a superhero would shout before defeating the villain, but it's actually much more clever than that. Think of it like this. Imagine you have two straws stuck together. In one straw, warm chocolate milk is flowing down to your feet. In the other straw... Cold chocolate milk is flowing back up to your tummy. Now, because these straws are right next to each other, the warm milk going down gives the cold milk coming back up a nice warm hug. That's exactly what happens in penguin legs. The warm blood going down heats up the cold blood coming back up so their feet stay just the right temperature. Cool enough not to melt the ice they're standing on, but warm enough not to turn into penguin popsicles. Penguin superpower number two is that they can control how much blood goes to their feet, like having a tap in their legs. When it's really, really cold, they turn the tap down a bit to keep most of their warmth in their bodies. When they need to do some fancy footwork on slippery ice, they turn it up again. It's like having your own personal heating system built right in. Have you ever noticed that penguins have really short, stubby legs? They look like someone took regular bird legs and squashed them down with a cartoon anvil, but those stumpy little legs are actually part of their anti-freezing system. You see, the shorter your legs are, the less heat you lose. It's like the difference between wearing shorts and long trousers in winter. Except penguins are permanently wearing the leg equivalent of very, very short shorts. Compare that to flamingos, who have legs so long they look like pink stilts with attitude. Flamingos often have to stand on one leg to keep the other one warm, which makes them look like they're playing an invisible game of hopscotch. Now, this next bit isn't exactly about feet, but it's important for the whole penguin package. Penguins are basically wearing the world's best winter coat, and they never have to take it off, which is convenient because penguins are notoriously bad at operating zips. They've got thick feathers packed so tightly together that water can't get through. And underneath that, they've got a layer of fat called blubber. Think of blubber as nature's version of a really, really thick jumper that you can never take off. So even if their feet get a tiny bit chilly, the rest of their body is so warm and cozy, they don't even notice. Here's another trick penguins use. Sometimes they don't put their whole foot flat on the ice like we do. Instead, they rock back on their heels with their toes pointing up in the air, using their tail feathers as a little tripod for balance. This means 
only a tiny bit of their foot touches the ice, so less heat escapes. It's like they're doing a permanent yoga pose called the chili penguin or the ice-avoiding warrior. Now let's compare penguins to humans in what I like to call the frozen foot challenge. If you tried to stand barefoot on ice, your feet would get dangerously cold in minutes. Your toes would turn colors that aren't normally seen outside of a rainbow, and you would be hopping around like you're doing some sort of frantic traditional dance. Penguins, on the other hand, have spent millions of years perfecting their antifreeze system. So, in the battle of penguin versus human in the frozen foot challenge, the penguin wins every single time. Probably while looking smug about it, too. But penguin feet aren't just good at not freezing. They're also incredibly useful for other things. In the water, penguins use their flippers to swim fast, but their feet work like little steering wheels or rudders on a boat. Some penguins can swim up to 22 miles per hour, which is faster than most people can run, and definitely faster than I can run after eating too much pizza. Their wide, webbed feet also work like built-in snowshoes, spreading their weight out so they don't sink into the snow. And their sharp toenails help them grip icy slopes so they don't slip and slide down like they're on a very cold, very dangerous water slide. Here's something that'll melt your heart. Not literally, because we've established that freezing body parts is bad. Emperor penguin dads use their feet as baby cradles. They balance their egg on top of their feet and cover it with a flap of warm skin. Now, imagine standing perfectly still in minus 40 degrees for two whole months with an egg balanced on your toes. That's like playing the world's most important game of the floor is lava, except the floor is actually the floor is freezing cold and will turn my baby into a penguin ice cube. Not all penguins live in super cold places, though. Some live in warmer spots like the Galapagos Islands where it's actually quite toasty. These penguins can use their feet like little air conditioners, letting extra heat escape when they get too warm. It's like having feet that work as both heaters and fans, depending on what you need. I wish my feet could do that. Mine just seem to specialize in finding every single Lego brick left on the floor in the dark. Scientists study penguin feet to help design better cold weather gear for humans. Some winter boots and jackets are inspired by how penguins keep warm. Engineers also look at that counter-current heat exchange system to design more efficient heating and cooling systems for buildings. Who knew that penguin toes could help invent better socks and even more environmentally friendly houses? Next time you put on your winter boots, you can thank a penguin for inspiring the design. Though I doubt the penguin will write back. Let's imagine you're a penguin for a day. In the morning, you waddle across the ice, balancing on your heels like you're doing a very slow, very dignified dance. Your toes don't feel cold because your built-in heating system is working perfectly. Midday, you dive into the freezing ocean to catch fish, using your feet as steering wheels while you zoom around, underwater, like a black and white torpedo with attitude. In the afternoon, you climb an icy slope using your sharp toenails for grip, probably muttering penguin swear words under your breath every time you slip, which, in penguin language, probably sounds like squawk squawk flipper. And in the evening, you carefully balance your egg on your feet, shuffling into a huddle with hundreds of other penguins, all of you looking like a massive penguin group hug that's keeping a precious egg warm through the freezing night. So let's sum up why penguins' feet don't freeze. First, they have counter-current heat exchange. The warm blood gives the cold blood a hug on the way back up. Second, they can control their blood flow like turning a tap on or off. Third, their short legs mean less heat escapes. Fourth, their amazing feathers and blubber keep their whole body warm. Fifth, they use clever balancing tricks to touch less ice. And sixth, they have tough skin and claws that protect against frostbite and slipping. Put it all together, and penguins are basically the ultimate ice-living machines, designed by nature to be perfectly adapted to some of the coldest places on Earth. Now, before we finish, it's time for our quiz. I'll ask you three questions about today's episode, and you can shout the answers at your device. Though, if you're listening in public, maybe just whisper them so people don't think you're talking to invisible penguins. Question one. What's the fancy science name for the way warm blood heats up cold blood in penguin legs? Is it A, supercurrent blood mixing, B, countercurrent heat exchange, or C, penguin power circulation?
The answer is B, counter current heat exchange, which still sounds like a superhero battle cry to me. Question two, how fast can some penguins swim? Up to 22 miles per hour, which is faster than most humans can run and definitely faster than I can waddle. Question three, what do emperor penguin dads use their feet for besides walking? They use them as baby cradles to keep their eggs warm, which makes them the ultimate multitasking dads. So there you have it. Curious kids, the next time you see a penguin, whether it's at the zoo, in a documentary, or waddling through your dreams, remember that those little feet are basically superheroes in disguise. Penguin feet aren't magic, but they're pretty close. They're a perfect example of how amazing animals can adapt to survive in the most extreme places on our planet. If you enjoyed today's episode, please ask a grown-up to help you subscribe and share it with your friends. Because everyone deserves to know why penguins are basically the coolest birds on Earth, literally. And if you have a question you'd like me to investigate, head over to our website at CuriousKidCast.com where you can submit your wonderfully weird and curious questions. Until next time, keep being curious, keep asking questions, and remember, if you ever meet a penguin, don't challenge it to a frozen foot competition. You'll definitely lose.